Welcome back, Family of Light. It's Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Hello. All right, Geminis, this is for you. And the collective energy of Geminis wanted the Witch Tarot. I think that's what it's called. All right. So if you are a returner, welcome back, my friend. If you are new here, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. Now, if this one doesn't resonate with you, go ahead and check out my playlist go after the the title rather than if it's dated or not because these are really specific so i'm sure you'll be able to find something in there for you all right this is you this is them this is the storyline and this is the overall card of ace of cups you've got the fool card the ten of pentacles and the strength card so you're definitely wanting this new beginning to where the end result is the 10 of pentacles and you have the strength to see this through. Here's the five of pentacles with your person. They know that this is a, a, a soulmate twin flame connection and they feel distant from you. There's the six of swords here. It's interesting. It's almost like they're wondering, worrying if you're trying to get away with something. And with the six of wands here, they want this to be an equal give and take. And I feel that you're a very vivacious person. You have a lot of friends, you have a lot going on, and they, they, they might think that you're not as serious about this as they are. Comes the temperance card. So there is divine timing here. And someone is just a little mm, not into the patience part of it. I get it. I get you, Gemini. With the two of pentacles here, it's trying to keep things balanced. You know, and here's the queen of um, pentacles here. So you might be, you know, and here's the ten of pentacles here. So that makes sense that you are the queen of pentacles working on your money, making sure that, you know, you can provide, you can live the way you want to live. And the overall card is the ace of cups here. So there's lots of love. So with the queen of pentacles comes the king of pentacles. So, you know, there's this divine couple here, especially <clears throat> of the same suit, which is wonderful. And, you know, you're about money, they're, you know, they're about money, but they're worried about the fact that you are so preoccupied with money. Here's the page of wands with the Ten of Pentacles here. I hear from the guides that you're a little concerned, and like I say, flip the storyline as it reads for yours, but you're, you're hesitant with this person because they're kind of um, pressuring you to come forward. And you're like, but I'm working, I'm trying to build an empire here. Can you hold up? Here comes the Empress with the strength. So you know that you're abundant, you know that you can create what you want. Here comes the page of pentacles. So they might not have as much money as you do and maybe not as into money as you are, or it makes them feel insecure that you do have more money. With the six of swords comes the five of pentacles. So it's definitely, they've got some suspicion about you. They're concerned, you know, they don't, they don't want to fight about it and they don't want to push you away by any means. 
with the with the six of wands here comes the ace of swords yeah so they're really stuck in their head about this trying to go okay well if they if they're too interested in the money and then they're not interested in me and they're taking it wrong with the temperance card comes the hierophant so i think it's going to be and it's saying it right here you know it's going to take time to get to the commitment part to the part where you or whoever is the one who's the interested in money and career and there's nothing wrong with that it's just that it's going to take time before this commitment can happen and what i'm hearing is that hopefully your person won't sabotage this and go oh, okay they're not really interested i'm moving on so here's the two of pentacles here with the hermit trying to keep things balanced and backing away and trying to regain perspective getting grounded you know gaining the wisdom that the owl provides I haven't used this deck in a while and I know I just love it so the queen of pentacles here the clarifier is the knight of cups so it's interesting where you know you're the empress and then the page here with their coin they don't have as much as you do but here's you wanting to come forth with that cup so you do you're just very practical minded is what i'm hearing you're not that mushy type so with the ace of cups comes the eight of cups yeah, your person's wondering if they should walk away. Now, like I said, with this reading, flip the storyline. If it, you know, because I can tell that there's some that's going to be this is you and then some this is going to be you. So whoever's the one interested in them, you know, building the solid physical foundation, you know, they do care about you. They do want to be with you. Like I said, they're more practical minded. And this person here is much more, you know, in their heart center, not as much focused on money. But they are eventually, and it says it right here too with the hair font, the four of wands. That commitment, you know, the 1111 card, the twin flame soulmate connection. So this is going to happen, it's just gonna take time. And the reason why I say it like that is, trust me, I get it. You're like, but I want it now. Or they want it now. You know what I mean? So what else do we want to, uh, okay. Yeah, your person's looking for signs from you that you do want to move this, you know, farther than where it is now. It's interesting because the last reading was, you know, where somebody needed to speak up and, and speak their truth to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation here. And it looks like this is something that needs to happen here. Because like, hey, I'm not ready. But I want this. Joyfulness. That three of cups energy. You know, maybe since you're the one in this reading that's the one that's more you know practical minded money oriented you know bring more joyfulness in here go and have fun with your person you know kind of ease their mind a little bit have them you know maybe take a yoga class together or a meditation class together <laughs> i mean it shows it right here too right if you're if you guys are into that sort of stuff you know go find joyfulness that is absolutely wonderful and I think your person is waiting for you to say something yeah you know and maybe you have over and over like I'm just into work I'm just into, they need to hear something else 
because here's the thinking about walking away. They don't want to. And they don't want to fight with you. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, so you're going to have to figure out, okay, do I need to take a little bit, uh, you know, an evening off or whatever? Because you might have a super demanding job where you have to work a lot of hours. You know, spend some time with them. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And that's what your person can't do. That's, that's what you're wanting to do. You're like, hey, I'm working a lot. I'm thinking about you, blah, blah, blah. And this person's like, oh, oh, you don't like me. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, this is a good one because I heard, you know, is one of your or both of your parents, were they workaholics? Did you hardly ever see them? And so then you became a workaholic? You know, and of course, your person has some family issues that they need to do because obviously they just want the love. They're not seeing the responsibilities and the goals that you want to do. And they're taking that as a personal rejection. So, yeah. Who couldn't use some healing, right? You know, and it might benefit both of you to um, go into the personal he healing school. Dang it, what is it called? From Thais Gibson. I talk about it all the time. So you can go in and find out what your attachment style is and see what your attachment style is as opposed to your person's. And it'll kind of help you guys figure out, A, you know, like family drama and how it affected you. So either you're a just dismissive avoidant because you need to work all the time and your person's an anxious attachment, like whatever that scenario is. And there's, of course, different um, attachment styles and just those two that I mentioned. But Thais Gibson's personal development school. Boom! There it is. Took me a minute. But hey, better late than never. Yeah, <laughs> your person is so expressive. Um, <laughs> calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And the reason why I'm laughing is because I hear this person going... Oh, I called you in and you're here, but now you're not now, but and I call you in and you're unavailable. What the hell? So I am hearing their frustration here. <laughs> oh, and make sure that you give this a thumbs up if it resonates with you. So other Gemini's can hear this healing message. Thank you. All right. Wedding. Yeah. In the future, future. There will be, and it says it right here, temperance brings the Hierophant up-leveling a commitment and a love reading, and here's the proof. Proof's in the card. All right? Let's see. We're done with this one. Understood. What else do we want to do? Yeah. Okay, they're saying, no, this is it. Because there was commitment. 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 You know, your person's got to stop freaking out, being all up in their emotions. And so, like I said, if you're the one who's the more money-oriented person, which is there's nothing wrong with that, go and have fun with this person. Ease their mind. Have yet another heart-to-heart -heart conversation if you can. And I'm nosy as I'll get out if you guys have been here before. So leave a message down below so I can get the skinny on your situation. Because it always fascinates me when this situation is constantly pinging to where I can't figure out who's who. I mean, of course, I know who's who here. But I can tell that for a lot of you, it's going to be switching. So anyway, now that I've rambled, um, patience. Patience is, will be rewarded. Go have some fun together. You know, like take a little time off. Even if it's like, you know, impromptu dinner or make, you know, making the effort to call more. You know. Anyway, 
I'm now I'm just rambling away. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Thank you. Bye.